This is Grade 5, Module 2, Lesson 5, and the objective in this lesson is to connect visual models and the distributive property to partial products of the standard algorithm without renaming. Okay, so it seems like a very complicated objective, and it's actually not. So I'm going to show you a few examples of this but using the homework problems. Um, this is homework problem number 1A. Let's draw an area model, then solve using the standard algorithm. Use arrows to match the partial products from the area model to the partial products in the algorithm. So most parents that I talk to are very familiar with this part right here. So um, I'm going to show you. We do teach the students the 24 times 21 in using the standard algorithm. That would be the standard algorithm way. Um, I'm going to show you the area model. And I like the connection that the Common Core um, does for this. So I have 24 times 21. So I'm going to break it up like this. I'm going to have, I'm going to put, I have 24 up here. And I'm going to break this part into 20 or two tens and then one. And so now if you're just looking at this rectangle right up here. I know that the side is um, it, the the width is the width is 24, the length is one. So I'm going to go 24 times one, and in the box I can write 24. And so I'm going to do the same thing for this rectangle down here that I drew, and I have 20 times 24 to find the area of that rectangle. And 20 times 24 is pretty simple. It's 480. So these are the partial products, and I'm going to just draw my arrow over here. Because notice, if I, I'm doing it this way, I have my 1 oop, times 4 and 20. I have 24. And then I have the, the 2 and 10. This is 20 times 4 and 20 times 2. And that's going to be right here. It's 480. Okay, and if I add those partial products together, I have an answer of 504. So my answer, and I can put in my block up here, is 504. So the students are taught the area model which is this part right here. And then they're taught the standard algorithm, which is this part right here, and then shown the connection. So they actually know what each of these, which each of these numbers mean. They understand the partial products a little bit better, so they have a deeper understanding in how to solve these. So I'm going to move on to a word problem, and this is word problem number four. And the question says, Zenon earns $142, per, $142 per shift at his new job. During a pay period, he works 12 shifts. What would his pay be for that period? So I'm going to write my target sentence. So my target sentence says, Zenon's pay would be blank. I don't know what it is yet. So I do know that he earns $142 per shift, and he works 12 shifts. So I know this is going to be multiplying by 12. Again, if the students want to um, find a good estimate of what their answer might be, we could just do 140 times 10. So a good estimate would be around $1,400, okay? So I'll just keep that in mind here. This is a skill that they've learned in previous lessons. They don't have to do it, but it's always nice to keep in mind um, what the the estimates going to be so you you know if your answer is reasonable or not. So drawing the area model, I have 142, and I have 10 down here and 12, uh, the two to make 12. I am going to do it uh, next to the standard algorithm, so 142 times 12. So um, using the area model, 2 times 142, 284. Standard algorithm, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2. Okay. 
Now I'm going to the rectangle down here, and I have 10 times 142 is 1,420. Doing the standard algorithm, 2, 4, 1. Notice that these match. I'm adding these together, adding my partial products. And I have an answer of 1,704, which is pretty close to 1,400. So that is my answer here. So Zenon's pay would be $1,704 for that pay period.